Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Guess what? Today is the beginning of my craziest week of 2023 so far. I have four flights in four days. Doing some of the most unexpected things that I could just dream about. So I decided to do a vlog about my travels, about this week, because this week alone is more eventful than pretty much most people's weeks or months. So I am going to Miami right now from Montreal because I wanted to attend the shamanic constellations with my friend. One of the most powerful, amazing shaman is doing an in-person event. And guess what? Montreal and Miami are not that far away from each other. So I decided that I would fly there and see how it goes for just a few days and see a friend. Also, this is literally the first time ever that I'm flying with just a small bag. I have never been able to do that. I never understood how people do that because, duh, how do you pack all the outfits in this? But this time, this is all I have. Super excited, I will take you on my journey, so keep watching and uh, I will see you soon. Seriously, next level manifestation. My flight, my original flight to Miami got canceled yesterday. So I, and the only other flight at that time was Air Canada and they didn't have business. But look at this. I literally just manifested a triple seat instead of a single one because there's nobody flying next to me. I am already in Miami and it's night because I literally came here and I almost passed out from not sleeping all night but this girlfriend this gorgeous woman is uh, sheltering me for the next two days da -da 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 -da. Hi, sexy. Yeah, we're almost going, she's going to sleep. Every time we get together, right now I'm literally trying to structureize all the insights that we're having and I'm like so grateful that I have you but the concept that I share with you, which is how three things that you can judge your mental health and your basically way of living, if you check these three things, how you eat, how you fuck, and how you sleep. Just do that right now. Like, think about those three aspects and how would you want to improve each and every one of them? Like, what one thing you would like to improve in each of them? And for me, it would be the accepting of pleasure if we talk about sexual activities just that acceptance that being a vessel of feminine energy and just being there to accept it without really doing much what about you i would like to to have like more loving uh, sex that is built on intimacy like nice. intimacy in a way that you know you actually love each other like you're two souls that are like connecting to each other whereas like just just physical animal, animal movements animal sex beautiful we're gonna leave you with that no nipple today night bye yeah <laughs>
music video tomorrow um i started today with a massage the body massage so we can get snatched and beautiful and pretty and sexy and now i'm going to a hydrofacial because my skin is so dry it's extremely dry like my nose is puffy my skin is puffy so i'm gonna go do uh some hydrofacial Hydro, is it called hydrofacial? I think it's called hydrofacial. So we're gonna go do that, make sure the skin looks tight, the skin is beautiful. I have another five hour flight tomorrow. You hear my voice, it's like, uh, anyway. We're ready? We are ready. They're like Charlie's angels, we're like shaman's angels. So you can't really take videos at the shamanic constellation, but I had so many insights. It's insane how field works. Everything that happened during those three hours was in full alignment amongst everybody who came in. So if you guys want to have a separate video about what shamanic constellations are, I would be happy to record it. Let me know down in the comments below. <music> Okay, landed in LA, and uh, first thing I did, which I'm super proud of, I went to work out in Barry's, my favorite place in Barry's, and now I am just waiting for my makeup artist to arrive, so she can make me look pretty, skinny, beautiful, uh, delicious, sexy, all that stuff, and uh, that's why we are going to put on a mask beforehand. Guys, I look like a little Casper the Friendly Ghost right now, but you have to deal with a little Casper the Friendly Ghost in the Versace robe because that's how we fucking roll here, okay? Honestly, I was feeling so down when I arrived here. I was like, faced all the devaluation and everything, but I am feeling so much better. All I needed was a boba and, uh, and that's pretty much it. Hi, my beautiful people. Okay, let's do a quick story time while I'm getting my makeup over here, my pre-makeup. So the story is what I'm actually doing in LA and why I flew in here a few years ago when I was still in music, was like six, seven years ago. One of my favorite artists back then, I still love that guy. I still like musically one of my favorite artists. His name was Yellow Wolf and is Yellow Wolf, he's not dead. Um, and I did a cover many years ago of one of his songs and I remember setting a wish like so 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 long ago driving the car being like oh my god I want to perform with that guy like I can imagine I can feel that feeling that state of performing with him and back then it wasn't even in the picture like we weren't we didn't even have any connection that wasn't rock music he's like hip-hop rock Tennessee vibe mm. so six years forward, like, brrr, rewind, and um, a few months ago, I told my friend to go see him performing in Grammy's Museum. Long story short, it was a private, like, small little gathering where he was presenting the new album, and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I want to have a picture with him. I truly want to take a picture with him. There's not a lot of people, it's not a full concert, I don't have to wait in line, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there are like only 50 people here. I think I can catch him just for a picture because I really appreciate his artistry. So we're standing outside and my friend is like, no, I don't want to stay anymore. Let's go. It's too cold. So we stood, stood, stood there. And then we said, you know, fuck it. Let's go. And we're going towards my car. And there is a guy that I see that I knew was at the performance. Like I just recognized him. He wasn't performing or anything. He was just in the audience. Um, and the guy that, you know, like you don't, I'm going to insert a picture right here. That's the guy. So I come up to him and I'm like, one second. 
<laughs> so we'll be back. <laughs> so, and we, I come up to him with no intention whatsoever. I was like, hey, I saw you at the performance. I want to take a picture with Yellow Wolf, but let's take a picture together. I have no idea who you are. So he ended up being one of the guys involved in the new album by Yella, and they invited us that night to go to a private listening. So that's how I met these people. So LA. Uh, it was Michael, Yella, it was Johnny Baldacci, uh, his manager, and a lot of, like, maybe 10 people was a private listening downstairs in one of the hotel studios in LA where Rihanna and Ariana Grande, all these top, top singers recorded their albums, and we're sitting there being like, wait, what the fuck just happened? Like, we went to see a show with no intention, and now we're here. So, a few months after, uh, I get a call from this friend of mine, Johnny Baldacci, and he's like, hey, remember I sent you a song that I recorded with Yellow Wolf? We're shooting a music video, I want you to be in it. And fuck my life. Of course I do. Ah, I threw up, yeah. Of course I want to. So I took a flight from Montreal, where I live right now, for one day to be in this video, and this beautiful lady doing my makeup, so yes, guys, it's such a fucking crazy story right now. I was listening to that audio, to that video that I did covering Yellow Wolf many years ago. And I'm like, who knew? I couldn't even imagine back then that I would be in the video with him, of him, kind of performing together, which is so fun. So I'm going to take you on the video and I'm going to pause my story time right now. Don't forget to believe, set intentions, set states. And if you want to learn more, come to my courses where I teach you how to do it. Okay guys, we are here. I am not okay, completely happy. Here. And then I gotta try to move some cards for her. Perfect, thank you. I'm not completely happy with my makeup, but as always, I am so fashionably late. Not even to my shoot. I'm like an hour and a half, oh, an hour and a half late. And uh, I don't know, I was driving here and I was like, you know what? Fucking queen energy, okay? <laughs> the whole whole set is waiting for me and I, uh, it's not even my video. I'm cameoing. I'm starring. Starring Elizabeth Sullivan. But that's that. Bitch. Hi guys, I just realized today is my last day in LA before leaving to back to Canada, to Montreal, and I just realized that I haven't really recorded yet my insights about constellations in Miami and uh, yesterday's music video shoot. I told you the pre-story, but I haven't told you the ending. Anyway, I'm going to Earth Cafe which is a must go to for me when I come to LA, when I'm in LA and downtown. Oh, I'm so excited for the avocado toast. Hi, my sexy people. So I just finished editing this vlog for you and I wanted to say a couple of final notes. First of all, never stop believing and never stop taking actions towards your dreams because at the end of the day, you can sit and meditate, you can get into the state, you can do everything right uh, by the textbook, but without taking those steps that are uncomfortable, scary, uh, they f might feel unimportant, you're never going to live the life, live the life of your dreams because it's all on you. I'm so happy about this week. I made two of my dreams come true for this year and I am so excited for more to come.